severe winter weather that's lashing the Pacific Northwest. Let's turn to Dave Price for the latest. Dave, good morning. All right, good morning to you, Julie. We've had issues on the northwest side and the northeast side. Let's go out and concentrate in this quadrant of the country right now. Friends in the Pacific Northwest, really particularly in Washington State now, just can't seem to catch a break. After all that snow, it's now a massive amount of flood-producing rain and serious winds, which are giving this area problems. Near Yakima, big rig truckers found out about those winds the hard way. Just as I get there, I felt my trailer just lift right up and drop again. And I hit my brakes and I tried to hold on to it and then the wind just took me right into the guardrail. Drenching rain closed dozens of Washington state highways, including interstates and all the passes through the Cascades, where mudslides are a serious threat. Some of the worst flooding is in Snoqualmie, south and east of Seattle, where more than 25,000 people were ordered out of their homes. Evacuees say the water rose so fast, they barely had time to escape. It was just like one minute, it's like half an inch, and the next thing you know, it's, it's up to the, you know, three feet, four feet deep. East of the mountains, snow that all but buried Spokane is soaking up rain. The weight now threatens to collapse buildings. The city even enlisted inmates from the local jail to shovel snow from rooftops. 